In this video, I'm going to show you how to create and edit OS templates, how to create and edit device roles and apply them to the devices, how to find device roles and script hacks in our store and how to implement them and import them, how to set up and deploy an alert template, and patch monitoring. To edit an OS template, you need to go to the Settings tab and go down to OS Templates. In here, you'll find that we already have several out of the box. Simply select the one that you want to change, and as you can see, I have two different sides of the monitoring template. I have performance and availability. So here we're saying if we have over 80% CPU usage continuously for 24 seconds, then we want a warning alert. If it returns under 80% for 24 seconds again, and a ticket is open, it will auto-close that ticket. And here you also have your three SLA statuses. You can also do the same with the disk queue, the memory, and also the disk space. Now with disk space you have two different options. You can monitor it by a percentage used or by an amount of disk space free. Down further you can also monitor by the time it has been disconnected. You can also monitor services in Navrisk as well. To add more, simply select then the device that you want to look at. And now you can see all the services on that machine and decide which ones you would like to add to the monitoring template. For an example, you can monitor when it stops, starts, changes state at all, or if you want, Navrisk can try to automatically restart that service and you can set a number of times that it will attempt this. If it fails to get it started after five attempts, then it will raise an alert. You can also monitor the connection between this computer or any computers that have this template and another place on the internet. This can be internal or external networking. For instance, I could put in the Nav Exchange server on port 25 and test this connection every two minutes. Or another example, Many people have been using things like websites to get notified if people cannot reach the web page. And the last option is monitored events. This is looking at the Windows event logs of a computer. In here, we can add more monitored events. Simply put in the event source. You can change the type. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to monitor my RAID events, but I'm also going to monitor on all errors. And I can leave the ID field blank to pick up on just errors. Or, if I really want to be specific, I can specify the event ID. I can also do an event description match as well. Once you have completed the setup, simply go back to the top and hit Save Template. After this has been done, it will change any Server 2008 machines for Navrisk Demo. If I want it to affect the sub-clients as well, and make this change across my board globally, simply click Copy Templates, select just the template I have changed, Make sure I've selected just the clients that I want to update and hit copy and overwrite. If you'd like to create a new template but want to start off with settings that have already been pre-made, click on clone template and select the template you want to copy. This will then create a copy which I can then rename and modify specifically for special types of services. The next step is a device role. Now a device role is all of the monitoring settings around a specific set of software. To find this, simply go into the settings tab again and go down to device roles. In here you'll find a lot of out of the box device roles that we supply, but what I'm going to do today is show an example of how to create one. So just up in the top right corner here, you have new role. As an example, I'm going to create a monitoring role to monitor a RAID card. So the first step is to look for the services of that RAID card from a computer. Okay, you can see that the service is running and automatic, and in here I can select whether it's we're just going to pick some random services here. So I'm now monitoring those two services. One for when it stops and the other when it can't restart it. The next part is monitor ports. So now I'm also checking the port to make sure that the device is definitely there. Also some monitored events that the agent might raise. Also some events that the RAID agent might raise. Now you also have file monitoring in here as well. So you can choose the path of the file and then get alerted if it's older or younger than, smaller or larger than, or if it exists or doesn't exist. You also have an option of having scripts run on a regular schedule. For instance, I can specify that my script pack can now run with these parameters every 20 minutes. And if it fails to run that script pack, I want it to create an availability failure alert. Once you have done so, click Save Role. Then you can again copy roles down to your subclients. Now to apply a device role, simply go to Devices. Select the multiple devices you want to apply this device role across. Then in the Tasks drop-down menu up here, go down to Update Roles, and you can now select the multiple different device roles that you'd like to apply across these selected devices. Once you have selected them, simply click Add Roles, and they will now be applied to that device. 
Now you would have noticed the button here called Import Role. The reason for that is we have an ability to share our device roles and script hacks with other members of our community. To do this, simply export one of your script hacks by hitting the button here, saving that NRL file, and then going into the Help tab and to the Routine Store. Inside here, you can share your routine with other people, and you can also download device roles and script packs. As you can see here are a bunch for antivirus. So we have device roles, which you'll see with this little icon, and script packs with this one here. Simply click on the routine you want to download. Download that routine. Now a device role is a .nrl file, and a script pack is a .nsp file. Once downloaded, go back to your Navrisk installation. Once downloaded, go back to your Navrisk installation, go back to the settings tab, and if it's a device role you're importing, click import role, and then search for that NRL file. If it's a script pack, go back to the settings, go to script pack, and load your script pack, and search for the file. Now the next step is to set up an alert template. From one of the previous videos, you would have seen how to create a user group. After doing so, you can go to the settings tab, go to alert templates, and create a new alert template. Now I have several here. I'll use the one here called monitoring. And here I've said that I want all of my warnings to go to everyone who is in the first line engineers group. My threats to go to the same people, and my failures to go to the head engineers. Now I also have an alert frequency as well. This means that if the ticket is still open after 720 minutes, I want it to send another email to them reminding them, and I want it to do it every 720 minutes. I can also escalate the job. I can also escalate the ticket if it has not been dealt with after a certain amount of time. For example, if it has still been open for a day, I want it to now start alerting another user group. Now you can also set the time that it's going to alert you as well. You have the same every day, a difference between weekdays and weekends, or you can set each individual day. The options that you have here are alerting during this period, alerting outside of this period, alerting for the entire day, or not alerting at all for the day. Okay, and here you can put between 9am and 5pm. Tickets will still be raised, however you won't get an email alert about them, so you can check the ticket console the next morning if they're not on the 24 hour schedule. Once you've done that and saved the template, the best way to apply this across devices is by going to device types. At the top level of servers and workstations, we can click edit and set the alert template to the one you want to use. In Navrisk, we have an option of monitoring when we have missing patches that have not yet been installed from a device. So the example I have here, I have put in seven days for a warning. Now this means that if there is a patch that has been released from Microsoft over more than seven days ago that is still missing from a device, then it needs to alert me and tell me. 14 days becomes a threat, and 21 days becomes a failure. Now I don't want to know about all categories either. So in here I've got category exceptions. If the only missing patches fall under the Bing Desktop, Capicom, Drivers, or Feature Packs, as I have here, then it won't alert me. For more information about patching, please see the patching video as well. If you've used the guide that I have put in the forums about how to deploy an agent using Active Directory login script, you'll find it's also handy for leaving it there and having it automatically install on new devices. But you also probably want to know when a new device has come into the system. Now to set this up, you need to go to the settings tab, go down to clients and licensing, select the client that you want to monitor, and right down the bottom you have an area called alert profile and alert on new agent installation. In here, select the one you want to use for the monitoring alert template, and then also select what you want it to do, whether it's going to create a ticket, also email the alert. For this I'll pick both. Hit save, and so now a new, when a new device has been added to that client, it will now send you a ticket and an email. You can also report on what monitoring settings you have set up as well. To do this, go into the Reports tab, go down to Settings and Audit, and in here we can run a report that shows us the applied alert templates and which devices they're applied to, what the OS templates are and what they are applied to, as well as the roles. Also, if you want to do a single configuration report on a single device, simply click into the device you want to report on. Under the Monitoring tab, you have a little button here called Print Configuration, and that shows you a full configuration of the OS of the monitoring done on that computer.